Hey everyone, in today's video, we're diving into an incredible piece of gaming tech, the Asus Raj Ally. This portable gaming console has already won the hearts of gamers worldwide, but as we all know, even the best devices have room for improvement. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through a series of modifications that will take your Raj Ally to the next level. Whether you're looking to boost its performance, enhance its usability, or give it a unique look, this video has got you covered. So, buckle up, and let's get started with upgrading the Asus Raj Ally. Since I wanted to preserve the existing data on the disk, we will perform direct cloning to the connected drive via the USB port. The console has only one USB port, so I'll use an angled adapter from Sabrent, which will allow me to connect a bootable USB drive, the one terabyte target disk, and an external keyboard. For my project, I chose one of the more affordable 2000 to 180 sized drives from Lexer, the 710 model. Its performance surpasses other drives in a similar price range. I selected the Arico enclosure due to its good reviews on Amazon and its tool-free drive installation. The enclosure is made of aluminum and the removable slot is made of ABS. It comes with a heatsink and a thermal pad for 2,280 sized drives. After inserting the drive, we secure it in place with a special rotating latch. I skipped the process of preparing the bootable USB drive with Clonazilla. I will include the relevant links to the programs in the video description. Since I used all the USB ports on the hub, I had to make sure the console's battery was fully charged. To boot the console from an external source, we need to enter the BIOS. The key combination is as follows. Press the power button, wait for the two spinning wheels, and then press the volume button until the BIOS window appears. To boot the console from an external source, navigate to the boot menu in the lower bar and select our USB flash drive from the list. After confirming, the console will automatically proceed to boot from the selected device. Select the first option on the list and confirm by pressing the A button or the Enter key on the attached keyboard. After a moment, the initial menu will appear where you can confirm your preferred language selection. Confirm the US keyboard layout by selecting the Keep option and pressing Enter. Confirm the device to device copy operation by selecting the appropriate option and pressing Enter. Confirm the Beginner Mode. After selecting Beginner Mode, choose the first option, Disk to Local Disk, to proceed with cloning the entire disk to another local disk. This option facilitates direct disk to disk cloning. Clonazilla will display a list of available disks connected to your system. Identify the 512 GB disk containing your Windows 11 installation. Select this disk as the source by highlighting it and pressing Enter. Confirm the target disk. Select if the source file system need to be checked or not. I initially selected the OK1 option, but I couldn't extend the partition to the full size. 
The option in Windows 11 was inactive. I attempted to resolve this using Parted, but it failed to launch properly. By choosing the LKO option, the remaining space on the disk will become a new D partition. After confirming whether Clonazilla should shut down or reboot the console at the end of the cloning operation, two additional prompts will appear. Asking if you're sure about the operations being performed, press Y and then Enter to confirm. The cloning process took approximately 30 minutes. Windows 11 on the Asus RAW July has four partitions, so the cloning window will sequentially process each one. After completing the cloning process, it's time to replace the disk and the console. To do this, unscrew all the screws on the back cover. The middle screw at the bottom is secured and cannot be removed. After removing all the screws, the back cover remains attached by clips. To detach it, gently pry it open using a plastic spudger starting from one of the sides. I will replace the back cover with a transparent one from JSAUX that enhances cooling. Therefore, I need to transfer the original buttons. Along with the back cover, we also receive rubber covers for the analog sticks and rear buttons. The main attraction of this mod is, of course, the illuminated cover with a separate battery that needs to be charged via a separate USB-C port. Additional accessories include interchangeable stickers that cover the RGB lighting and a rubber cover for the Raj XG port. Due to the transparent nature of the back cover, we need to deceive the light sensor by covering it with the included black tape. To conceal the wiring and battery, the manufacturer has provided a special sticker. The SSD is located beneath the insulator sticker. The screw securing the SSD was tightened so firmly that I had to use a larger screwdriver to remove it. The original SSD is in the 2230 size and the target is 2280. Therefore, an angled adapter is necessary for installation. 
The one I purchased isn't ideal for the Raw July. The kit includes a sleeve for securing the 2280 SSD, but this can only be done when the adapter is outside the console. As a result, we can't secure the adapter in the original 2230 SSD mounting position. To improve thermal conductivity, I remove the Lexer sticker from the SSD and apply a thermal pad along with a heat sink. to create a new departition from the remaining space on your 1TB. The final step is to apply a scratch-resistant tempered glass screen protector to the Asus Rajalai display. To enhance the gaming experience, consider adding silicone thumb grip caps to the analog sticks and silicone back button covers. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future content. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.